Hello and welcome to another video. So this is my finished painting of the bowl of apples and the bars of flowers. I think it came out better than I was expecting it to actually. <coughs> I can't remember. I can't remember how far I was when I showed you the work in progress yesterday. I did the apples. Some of the apples look um, quite realistic. <clears throat> I did the apples first anyway. You probably saw some of that. I did the dark bits and the flowers. Made the view out of the window look more realistic. The um, I don't know what you call those things that go in between the windows. Oh, um, and the bottom is the window ledge. That's the window pane. And the middle, what's this called? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, they were um a very um not level, let's say before. I managed to get them to look leveled with a small paintbrush. Then it looks quite good. And then there's the leaves and the stems that I did. Putting a little border or something there, although maybe it's just a petal that's falling off one of the other leaf of the flowers. And of course I did the highlights and dark bits in the apples and here the shadows. It's good that I've managed to stop the streaks in the apples and the green um and this bit and then I did the pattern on this bowl that was very intricate to do. Going very slowly around it with a small brush. It does look better than I expected it to do. <laughs> I've got a few other still life pictures that I can draw and paint from. I quite like doing them. They uh, come out nice at the end. But I've got a book and it um, I showed you on last Friday and it's got, well, I videoed it last Friday. You, um, it went up on YouTube after, after Friday. <laughs> but I showed you a book about perspective that I got and it got um, still lives in that as well. How to do the perspective while they're still alive. Yeah. So I'm going to have a good study of that book to make sure I get my still lives looking correct in future. I think there should probably be a shadow under there that I haven't done. Yeah, I really should do a shadow under there. Yeah, got a few little bits to to do to it to make it perfect and then. A little bit of white up there as well. I was going to do it when I did that bit, but then I forgot. I don't suppose it really matters, but I really should do this shadow under there. Because it makes it look more realistic when you've got a shadow in there. And then make this lighter there, that's going to show that light bit. And there. See, this bit, you can't really see that. Because this is, the apple should be like as big as here, but there's none of this showing. 
See, that's what the book will show you how to get this right. So it's not um, with bits like this that shouldn't be there. See, um, but anyway, that is my. It, no, I'm calling it nearly finished because I'm, I'm going to do the, the little bits to it that need doing. That, um, if, I'm, if I remember, if I put it up there instead of putting it over there, I might remember it. And I, then I did the background to this one. Um, now I don't know whether it was this green paint or my, br or my brushes or what, but there was lots of goopy bits in and I had to scrape the goopy bits off to do it. Um, or maybe it was bris bristles that were coming loose out of the brush, but I don't know. Anyway, I've done the background of this one. I might have to go over it again to make it look better, like I did with the out of the window there. Oh. And I've done this one stem. And that's how far I've got on oh, that one. And then, of course, I've got the others that are still being drawn, the other um, small ones, and the wolf that I haven't finished drawing yet. And I'll put these over here. Don't think I'm going to do any more to the wolf today. So that's the end of this video, then. If you enjoyed it, give it a like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye!